In this video, I will show you how to send conversion value to Google Analytics 4. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to the Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to stay up to date with GA4, then consider subscribing to this channel. In Universal Analytics, there was a thing called goal value. Basically, it's a monetary value of how much that completed goal is worth to your business. This configuration is optional. And in GA4, we have conversions. So the question is, can you track values with conversions in GA4? The answer is absolutely. Let's take a look. In this video, I presume that you already have a basic understanding of how conversion tracking works in Google Analytics 4. If you're not familiar with that, then I have a link in the description of this video where I explain how to configure conversions in GA4. So watch that first and then come back here. In a nutshell, conversion configuration in GA4 is pretty straightforward. You just start sending events. And then if some events are more important to you, you go to configure events and then mark that particular event as a conversion. Or you can go to conversions, then enter new conversion event, and then insert the event name right here. But what if you also want to send conversion value? For example, you know that this conversion, which is let's say form submission, is worth $5 to you. How can you send that conversion value together with the event? And there are mainly two ways to do that. The first one would be to send two additional parameters with the event to Google Analytics 4. So for example, if you're sending events with Google Tag Manager, you can open your event tag that sends the conversion event and then add two additional parameters. One is value. So this is a monetary value of this particular event. You can insert, let's say five. So it means that every time this event is fired, its monetary value is five. Or if you have some dynamic variable that returns a particular value depending on the context, then you can insert a variable by clicking right here and then finding the variable or configuring the variable that you have in mind. But let's say that this time I will be sending five with every generated lead event. And then the second parameter is currency. And here you should enter the currency code in ISO standard. So it should be a three letter combination such as euros like that, then US dollars, Canadian dollars, and so on. So now you would need to save the tag, then test it and see if this value is visible in the debug view of Google Analytics 4. If you're sending data to Google Analytics 4 with GTAG, then a sample code could look something like this. Here's the event command, here's the event name, and here is the value and the currency. You don't have to send five. If you want, you can send some other number based on your calculations, or you can use another currency. But this is just a general example. If you want, you don't have to use the generate lead event name. It can be any event right here. And then another option to send the event value could be to use one of the built in features in the interface of Google Analytics 4. So you can click on events, then if let's say I'm already getting the generate lead event, and that generate lead event in Google Tag Manager is not sending any values. So there I don't have any currency or value, then I could click modify event and then create a rule that will be named, let's say add value to generate lead. I mean, something still has to send that event to me. So in this case, we're sending generate lead without any values. So if GA4 receives an event that equals to generate lead, which is the exact match as it is right here, then add two additional parameters. One is value. So in this case, we can enter, let's say five. So it means that every time this event is received by GE4, Google Analytics will also add the value five. And then the next parameter is currency, where you have to enter the currency that you're using. In this case, this will not be dynamic. So if I enter five, it will always be five. So this modify event feature will add these two parameters with these values to every incoming generate lead event. It will not affect your historic events, but it will affect your future events after you create this rule. If you're using some other event to which you want to add the value, then you will need to enter that events name right here. Another option, which in some cases might be also useful would be to create an event right here. So this feature allows you to create one event based on another event that is received in Google Analytics 4. So for example, here, I already have a condition that I want to show you as an example. So here, if the visitor lands on a website and makes a page view and the page URL contains thank you. So it means that the visitor landed on my thank you page, which is the page when let's say someone downloads my ebook. 
So then I could say that this new thank you page view event should reuse all the parameters from the page view that was received with this page location. And also I want to add two parameters, which is value and currency. So in this case, the configuration is similar to the modify event feature that I've previously shown. So it could be, let's say value three and currency is euros. If you're using US dollars, then it will be US dollars. But keep in mind that you should use create event feature or the modify event feature only if you cannot edit the actual source of the event where the event is actually created. So in this case, this is where the event is created. It is Google Tag Manager. Personally, I would recommend that you configure your values and your currencies in Google Tag Manager if you're already sending that event. That means that all the configuration will be available in a single place because otherwise you might find yourself in situations where you have this generate lead event Event, and you're not sending these values and you have forgotten that you're using modify event. And I have found myself in this kind of situation several times. So if I have an option to edit the original configuration of the event in Google Tag Manager or GTag, I would do that instead of using these features. These options are worth considering if you don't have access to GTM or GTag and you still need to add that value. So then you should use one of these features. So if you want to modify the existing event, use modify event feature. If you want to create a new event based on another event, for example, you want to have thank you page event based on the page view event, then use the create event feature. So when you configure your setup and you start collecting event and currency, you will need to wait for up to 24 hours to start seeing that value data in your Google Analytics 4 interface. However, some parts are still not very intuitive. So I hope that Google team will eventually fix this in the future. Let me switch to another property where I already have some values. All right, so now I am in another property and one of the places where you can see the conversion value is to go to configure, then conversions. And then here you will see the value column right here. Right now I am sending values with generate lead event. And also I'm sending value with another test event, which is email pop-up submit. The first thing that I noticed, which is kind of weird, but I hope that they will fix this, is that if you send values with generate lead event, you will see your currency sign right here. But I've tried to do this for other events, for example, email pop-up submit, which is obviously a custom event and Google Analytics 4 does not know what it stands for, then values are not shown with the currency sign, but instead we just see the number. However, those numbers are still correct, but we just don't see that conversion sign. So maybe in the future they will fix that, or if they don't, then just keep in mind that there is this kind of weird behavior. Now, when it comes to seeing the values in other reports, here's how we can do that. For example, if you go to reports and go to engagement conversions, here's one thing that you should keep in mind. And I will now show you how to fix this. So first of all, event revenue column, which is by default available right here, it is not event value. It shows just the e-commerce revenue coming from the purchase. All other events will show zeros. I don't know why Google decided to do that, but that is how it works when I'm recording this video. However, you can customize this report and add the event value. And I mean the real event value. So you can click customize report, then metrics, add metric, and then add event value. And actually we can even remove the event revenue right here. Then click apply, save, save to the current report, save, and then go back. Now you will see the event value, which includes both the value of the purchase event, but also all those values that you have sent either with Google Tag Manager, with GTag, or you have configured with modify event or create event. So what I would really hope is that maybe in the future, Google Analytics team will include this metric by default. And if you need to add that metric to other reports, you can also do that. So this is something that you can definitely customize, but I hope that some of these reports would already have this kind of metric by default. Another place where you can see conversion value is in explorations. So click explore, you can click then free form, then I can remove the predefined rows and values and columns. And in this case, let's say that I want to create a report based on the traffic source. So I can click plus right here to add a dimension and let's use session source medium. 
import it i will add it right here to the rows i just double clicked it and it was added right here and then as a metric i can add for example let's say active users i just double clicked it and then another metric can be event value click it import it and then double click this event value to add it to the values section right here also before that i changed the date range therefore the number of active users has changed as well if you compare that to what you saw let's say 10 seconds ago so now we have the event value but here's the problem in this particular column all events and their values are calculated so it includes purchase event generate lead event and maybe other events and conversions that you have sent together with value and currency so if you want to filter down just to a particular conversion or particular event here's how you could do that this is not very intuitive, but as you probably have already noticed in Google Analytics 4, a lot of things are unusual here and they require a complete new learning process. So if I want to narrow down just to, let's say, generate lead event, here's what I could do. I could go to filters, click right here and select event name. If you don't have the event name right here, you will need to click plus to add event name to the dimensions section. So now I need to enter the following condition event name must match regex and here we're going to filter down to two events i'm doing that because i'm looking at the source and medium and to properly keep the numbers of active users i need to make sure that this report still uses the data coming from the session start event which is automatically tracked in ge4 and i also want to include data from generate lead all other events will be excluded from this table so i enter session start then enter a pipe which is a vertical dash and in regular expressions means or and then i enter generate lead click apply so the user number has slightly decreased but if you for example try to include only generate lead they would reduce drastically because in google analytics 4 session starts when the session start event is tracked that is why, at least right now when I'm recording this video, if you want to work with traffic source data and you're working with events, you need to make sure that session start event is also included in that data set. So that is why I'm using session start event as well. So the numbers have decreased a bit if we compare to the table that we had without this filter, but it is close enough. And now I see event values only of that particular generate lead event purchase event and all the other event values they are excluded the reason why i did this here and i did not do that in the standard reports is because when i'm recording this video event value in standard traffic acquisition reports acts sometimes weird and those numbers completely make no sense that is why i often find myself working in the explorations but again i hope that in the future they will fix this because recently there have been many small improvements here and there in google analytics 4 to increase overall usability of the interface or at least to make sense out of data there are still many things to improve but we are getting closer and that is how you can track conversion values with Google Analytics 4. Basically, you just need to send value and currency parameters with particular events. If you found this video useful, then hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.